are in Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen with Sally Weisenberger. Nice to meet you. Let's see, Weisenberger, that name's so familiar. It is, isn't it? You know what? We love you guys. We love your products. We've been using them for thousands of years since we were a little bit of kids. And tonight you are here. Your son said you're the biscuit queen. Well, I don't know if I'm the queen, but I do like to make biscuits. And we eat a lot of biscuits, and we eat a lot of cornbread. So tonight we'll make some biscuits. Well, you, you, you know this guy that runs this outfit where yeah, you can get plenty of that kind of stuff. So that's really what you do. I mean, you really have biscuits, and you've worked on this over the years. I really do. A lot of people want biscuits from scratch. And they're very easy to make. There's nothing to it. Nothing to it. Now, you're going to start with just basically flour. Well, I'm going to start with self-rising flour, which makes it even easier. Okay. So you don't have to add any leavening. It's already in there. So there's just three ingredients. Tell me basically, just step me through what you're going to do before you actually do okay. it. Okay. I'm going to add flour, and I'm going to add shortening and buttermilk. And that's it? And that's it. Look at here. Blue Ribbon Biscuits. She looks mighty familiar. <laughs> this is an article that came out, Edible Louisville in the Bluegrass region. And it's got an article on you and your fabulous biscuits. Well, I'm hungry. All usual. right, shall we make biscuits? I want to try some. Okay. Right. So we just start with, uh, it's very easy. Two cups of self-rising flour. And I just uh, scoop it out and level it with my finger. Now, is this your recipe or is it from grandma uh, or no, mom? No, this actually came from the Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. No kidding. And instead of adding, you can add the leavening, the baking powder, and the soda. But one day I thought, I think I'll try it with self-rising flour. And they're great. So it makes it so much easier. You know what? I like simple. I do too. And our uh, folks that watch the show like simple. Yeah. So then we're just going to add a third of a cup of shortening. And then I do like my tool, a pastry blender. And then I just blend the shortening into the flour until it's crumbly. That takes no more than a minute and a half. And then that'll help add to our layers of flaky biscuits. And this, if you follow this recipe and, and do it just like you're saying, it's, it's, it's pretty non, you can't hardly mess it up, right? You can't mess it up. Well, you're that's gonna good get to a know. biscuit. I think I can make these. You could. I know you could. After you make them, I'm going to try them. All right. Then I make a little well in the center and pour in uh, three-fourths of a cup of buttermilk. And I will tell you that I, use, I do not use low-fat buttermilk. At the grocery store, you'll see buttermilk and low-fat buttermilk, and I use the real thing. I don't use anything low-fat. I don't either. <laughs> then I just stir it together with a fork until it all starts to hold together. And it'll come together. You know what's funny? For years they've told us, you know, that, oh, fats, this is not good for you, and that's not good for you. Use margarine instead of butter. Well, I never listened to them. Me neither. If it's natural, it's probably the best Better. way to do it. Yeah. And you can use butter if you want. You can yeah. use butter as your, um, as your shortening. Now we're going to take a little flour and put it on our, on our board here, and we're going to roll them out and cut them. So we're just going to flour the board a little bit. We're just gonna, I like to get every little bit out of the bowl. I don't like to leave behind That's the last That's almost an extra crumb. biscuit in there. It is an extra biscuit, so I put that right there. Now, with a little extra flour, we're just gonna lightly knead it. Maybe, you know, one, two, three. Just over a couple of times, and that's about it. Pat it out. Take an old rolling pin or how a glass it, you know how or a old can. That rolling pin is? It's really old. I don't know, but it's really old. We're going to roll them out. And if they're a little wet on top, just sprinkle a little flour on Just adjust it. Yeah, just adjust. Just roll them out to probably about a half of an inch. How many times have you done this? Lots. <laughs> then with the cutter, and I like little biscuits. Some uh -huh. people like great big biscuits. And I just cut them, plop them. And then onto a greased cookie sheet, just place your biscuits. You can, they can touch if you want a soft-sided biscuit. Mm -hmm. If you want a crispy-edged biscuit, the biscuits don't touch if you want a crispy biscuit. Gotcha. And sometimes I'll take the cutter and rub it in a little flour so it doesn't stick as bad. Hey, how do you like the new Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen? I here? love it. This is a great Doesn't spot. mind if your grandmother's, it does. you know, the old ways. And I love the oven. I can't wait to bake the biscuits in the new <laughs> oven. It's going to be great. So we'll just fill the cookie sheet up. This uh, recipe makes 15 two-inch biscuits. 
Now, while they're preparing this, I guess they should know what they need to preheat their oven for. Oh, 450. 450. 450. And how long do they cook? They cook for about uh, 12, 10 to 12 minutes. And just See, that's watch quick. them. They're quick. Yeah. yeah. And there we go. So we're 450. 450 for 12 minutes, for about but watch them. 12 minutes, but watch them. All right. Great. Now, sometimes Nikki, Nikki is very busy and she'll forget her biscuits. So when I know she's cooking biscuits, I check them. Okay. I'm so gonna, I'm going to get beat up for this later. Well, 10, we'll check them at 10 at minutes. 10 minutes. But maybe 12 just depends on your oven. So right. just until the tops start to turn a little golden, then they're ready. Da, 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 da. All right, you checked at 10 minutes. You think it's time? It's I think it's ready. Minutes. All right, Let's I'll, get I'll open it and you grab them. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're ready. Mm. They are ready. So. You know what? That looks like the perfect biscuit to me. All right, I'm going to just cool them for a second and then I'll put them on the rack and let them cool. What, is, that's, what do you call that? That's like just a bread a, rack, biscuit just rack? Just a baking rack. Cookies, cake, you know, bread. Biscuits, so lets the air up under them. It does, and cools them off. Keeps sometimes them from they'll, them out. well, yeah, yes, and sometimes they'll sweat if you leave them in a hot pan, and they'll get kind of uh, get get doughy on the bottom. We don't want doughy biscuits. We don't want doughy biscuits. So I'm going to go on and place some up here. Where's the gravy? Well, we do have gravy mix, you know. No, you do not. We do. Yes, we do. <laughs> I should have brought off. some gravy mix with us. <laughs> we could have added some uh, deer sausage. Can I eat I this one right here? You may. It's looking at me. Go right ahead. And I don't have any choice, but. Mm. You know so what? So we like them when they crack Ooh. and pop open. Mm hmm. Oh, and man. Then they're yummy. If I had a blue ribbon, I'd give it to you. Oh, thank you. If I'd, <laughs> I'd clap if I could. So they're really not hard to make. Scratch biscuits really are not hard. It's just three ingredients. Three ingredients. You know, when I sometimes I just walk into the store there, and are people welcome to do that to come? They are. The store? They're welcome to come in the mill. You've They're got open. stuff right there you sell right, right off there, the shelves. Right there in the little office. Uh, the five pound bags of flour you'll probably have to come out to the mill to buy because right. those won't be in the grocery store. But uh, you're welcome to come in. They're even open on Saturdays till noon. What's next? You got all kinds of stuff. Well, we do. We have. Uh, a new banana bread mix out. We'll have to make some of that with uh, whole wheat flour. So mm -hmm. It's really good. Very easy to make. It's one of those uh, in the bowl, one, one, two or three steps, you're done. One, two, three. We like easy. Uh huh. And then uh, maybe we can, I can come back and we'll do cornbread. I like me some cornbread. Yeah, maybe cornbread and an iron skillet on the on the new stove. That's what I'm talking about. That'd be great. The new old stove. The new old stove. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Those are the best biscuits I've had in a long time. Well, thank you. Thank I'm you very glad much. you liked them.